Good morning, everybody. This here is my uh, squash, six plants. Look at this little uh, beauty I discovered this morning. Isn't that pretty? Well, I'm basically. I'm your host, Levon. These are my uh, 6x plants. I'm sorry, these are squash, summer squash. My mom has a killer recipe that is uh, stuffed squash. And I told her I'd make her, uh, I'll bring her some organically grown squash next time. So we can uh, enjoy family night with some pure and healthy vegetables. And as I uh, said earlier, my koi pond. And I am just taking a small little pump, which is right there, and I am bringing it up and teeing it off. This is my relief. And this supply comes all the way to where I showed you earlier. And it's just loose algae that's floating around. And I'm catching it on that little pad. And you just switch them out. You put a new one down. You rinse that one out. And you're ready to go. Just keep using them back and forth. Uh, you don't want that down in the bottom of your uh, grow bed because algae was robbing my roots of nutrition prior to the, the roots getting a nice coating. I had to go through all this algae first, so I've learned to uh, limit as much of that stuff going into your uh, bed as possible. And it's got a bell siphon, it's the old biggie biggie bell siphon. And it's been working great. It hasn't given me any issues. Um, I had another bed before, but it was uh, not as deep. In fact, it was about that much. And we all know it's, uh, it takes a good foot's worth of hydrogen to give yourself some good root base and plenty of uh, healthy room for your vegetables to grow might be a little compact. I mean, I do have six squash that are quite uh, uh, space-using uh, vegetable, I guess. It's, uh, I guess we're going to see how, how well it does in this, uh, I think it's a 17-gallon tote. It's uh, polypropylene 5, uh, stuff you want to use that doesn't leach any uh, contaminants into your water or leach into your vegetables which you will later, later be eating.